Hello and welcome to the eOrganic webinar on the ancient grains einkorn, emmer, and spelt, what we know and what we need to find out. My name is Alice Formiga and I'm the webinar coordinator for eOrganic. eOrganic is the organic agriculture community of practice with eExtension. You can find all of our published articles, videos, and our many upcoming and recorded webinars on organic farming and research topic on our website at extension.org slash organic underscore production. Before we begin, I'd like to briefly introduce our four speakers. Frank Kutka studied plant breeding at Cornell University, and he currently serves as a co-coordinator of the Farm Breeding Club at the Northern Plains Sustainable Agriculture Society. Frank lives in western North Dakota and breeds maize and other crops. Steve Zwinger is a crops researcher at the NDSU Carrington Research Extension Center, where he works with a diversity of crops adapted to central North Dakota. Steve has trialed emmer and spelt for the past 20 years, and recently he's been trialing einkorn along with emmer and spelt in organic fields. Julie Dawson is a postdoctoral research associate at Cornell University, working to develop varieties of wheat, spelt, emmer, and einkorn for organic farming systems. She received her PhD from Washington State University, where she worked with Dr. Stephen Jones on organic and participatory wheat breeding. June Russell is the manager of farm inspections and strategic development for Green Market Grow New York City. She spent the last 20 years in numerous capacities within the food business, from baker to chef to cafe and bar manager. Since 2007, she has spearheaded efforts to bring grains and local flour back into the Northeast food shed through Green Market's Regional Grains Project. I'd also like to thank Elizabeth Dick of the Organic Growers Research and Information Network for her work in organizing this webinar. All right, well, welcome everyone. Uh, good morning and good afternoon, as the case may be. Uh, this is Frank Kutka. I'm going to give you a brief uh, project overview as an introduction uh, to the project that uh, underlays uh, the question we're dealing with today. Uh, this project is called the Value Added Grains for Local and Regional Food Systems uh, project, and it is funded by the USDA Organic Research and Extension Initiative. All right. Muted. Uh, the first thing that uh, makes most sense to talk about is a little bit about what we mean by value added. And in our project, we're really taking a fairly holistic approach at all the different types of value that can be added to agriculture. Uh, number one, adding small grains to crop rotations, of course, adds diversity and all those values to the production system. Organic production also has uh, advantages to the production system, but then also economic values in the marketplace. There are market values that can be added when we sell grains into specialty markets and ethnic markets. Direct marketing, as opposed to uh, marketing through some of the larger channels uh, can also capture more retail value for the grower. Uh, higher nutrient density, which is a uh, big piece of what we're trying to do, also adds value, in this case to the consumer who gets greater food value when they purchase these grains. And then uh, processing uh, the grains into flour, pasta, or bread adds uh, additional uh, retail value, and some of that can be brought back uh, to the farm or, or more regionally so that that value stays closer to home. Uh, we are looking at adding uh, and he, and all of these values, as a matter of fact, uh, with our project. And here are our basic objectives. Uh, first, we're going to look at a number of different varieties of several different wheat species, looking for uh, high market values and adaptability to organic systems. And those uh, characteristics uh, people are looking for relative to baking and nutrient qualities. We are going to be uh, developing management recommendations for uh, organic growers for heritage wheats, uh, emmer and einkorn. We are going to be looking at how management can be made uh, optimal for producing a grain that has those quality endpoints the markets are most looking for. Uh, we are going to be working through uh, a little bit of the dehulling process, a critical piece uh, with these grains, as many of the ancient grains, in fact, have hulls, unlike uh, modern wheat. And then we're also looking at several different ways to uh, capture that uh, market value through uh, local and regional marketing streams. Our project partners include many uh, research universities and research there. Uh, we have organic uh, farm organizations, and we also have marketing groups and our 
our group actually is uh, involved in this from coast to coast. Then I think very importantly, we have a group of folks who are helping us to keep it real and keep all of unmuted. So we have project advisors uh, all around the country, who include farmers, uh, bakers, millers, uh, people involved in the seed industry, and also researchers. And uh, we're very happy to have uh, all of their advice as we work through this project for the next several years. So that's my brief overview, and I'm now going to turn things over to Julie.